Alpine Comics superheroes have a good diet too. Now, um, particularly for male superheroes over 40. One of the real killers is estrogen. It's for women. The kind of food they eat, not men. Not over 40. There's, there's some foods which are, they've got a, a lot of estrogen in them. And I'll just go over a little bit of the details. But dairy has a fair bit of estrogen in it. So one of the changes I've made a little while ago is, you know, you, you don't really eat the breakfast cereal anymore. Your brekkie cereals, you, you cut that amount of milk out. I slam a tea in my coffees, but you just don't really eat the brekkie cereals anymore. You don't do it. You sort of, you let go of milkshakes. And if you can afford to, you sort of, you let go of your ice cream and you switch to something like a 99%, 100% fruit sorbet um, dessert. Because that's going to be much less of a problem. Uh, today I've switched with mum. She doesn't eat peanut butter anyway. And I said, don't buy peanut butter anymore because it's just me and mum at home. So, you know, there's lots of fats in peanut butter and um, out it goes. Um, soy, soy, it's really heavy in estrogen. Soy chips and baked beans. You just don't touch them. It's like that's once a decade stuff. You know, you, you just let go of baked beans, mate. You don't eat them. Just out the window. You just, you don't bother with baked beans again. And soy sort of stuff, soy foods, you just don't touch soy. You just, you just don't touch it. So, um, you know, and uh, cut down that, that dairy. Cut it down. Also, a change I've made recently, which we've done a little bit a few times, but now we're sticking with it, is that, um, Mum's mum never has sugar in her coffee anyway, and um, she's not really in the mood for baking much anymore. And we're just sort of I've, I'm just switching to Splenda as my sugar sweetener. Um, things like Equal and so forth. We're on Splenda, and um, she's pretty happy enough to make that the permanent change. It's it's a little bit more expensive than the sugar, but she's not really minding by the looks of it. So you know, I mean. These are the kind of changes which you need to make, and heroes can get things done all at once, but as I suppose another way is just to take it gradually and let these things drop from your diet. Now, there's such a thing as estrogen blockers like broccoli, and there's, there's other estrogen blockers, which uh, broccoli is a good kind of food to have most nights in your meals, in your, in your dinners. Males, it, broccoli is a good sort of food to add in. Broccoli is tasty enough of as a vegetable. I know a lot of the vegetables can be there. But uh, broccoli is the kind of thing you, you might want to include a bit. So, you know, you cut down on your um your, your dairy. And um, you sort of cut down on your sugar intake. Well, switch, switch to sort of uh, a sweetness is sort of like splendor and equal and things. It's... If you can afford to do that, it's usually the best way to go. And, uh, you know, say goodbye to baked beans. Just don't really bother. Things like that. And eat a, eat a bit of broccoli. And uh, sort of, you know, for, for your meats, you know, usually it's, it's best if it's a bit lean over cuts. Sort of less fatty bits on the meat. So, you know, they're just some of the sensible changes which, when you've got a bit of discipline to be able to make them, it's usually best to make those diet changes. Okay.